Now to a story all new at four, Maryland U.S. Senate candidate and Prince George's County Executive Angela also Brooks. She is back on the campaign trail. Yeah, she was joined by the Vice President Kamala Harris. It's the first campaign event for also Brooks since defeating David Trone in the primary. Our Randy Ayala was at the Kentland Community Center in Prince George's County, where a who's who of Democratic leaders are hoping that ending gun violence will be a deciding factor at the polls. On National Gun Violence Awareness Day, also Brooks is hoping to sway voters with her tough stance on gun violence, and she brought in Governor Wes Moore and Vice President Kamala Harris to reach voters here in Prince George's County. Gun violence has become the number one killer of children in the United States of America. Prince George's County Executive Angela also Brooks using National Gun Violence Awareness Day to highlight what's at stake come the general election in November. Assault weapons are readily available and flood into our state. Maryland overall has now become the place with the highest rate of out-of-state gun imports in the country. With safety and crime top of mind for voters in the state, also Brooks reminded the crowd the path to a Democratic Senate majority runs through Maryland. Governor Wes Moore, Senator Chris Van Hollen, and other Democratic leaders joining in. We have children that still walk through neighborhoods and communities that do not feel safe in the places that they call home. Today, I then proudly endorse Angela Also Brooks for the United States Senate. Vice President Kamala Harris and Also Brooks have known each other for over a decade. The VP highlighted another deciding factor at the polls. When we win majorities in the United States Congress in November, Angela's vote will help President Biden and me restore Roe v. Wade and reproductive freedom. Also, Brooks says her calls for universal background checks and banning assault rifles clearly sets her apart from her opponent, former Republican Governor Larry Hogan. Today, Larry Hogan is pointing the finger at Also, Brooks, saying, quote, while crime is declining in other parts of the state, in Prince George's County, homicides are up over 50 percent and violent crime over 30 percent. Data confirmed by the Prince George's County Police Department show total crime is down 13 percent, but violent crime is up 11 percent. Hogan released a 10 point plan on how he would reduce gun violence, uh, including increasing penalties for firearms in school zones and other federally designated locations, uh, as well as getting guns out of the hands of violent repeat offenders. You know, it's obvious uh, gun violence is a huge deciding factor in getting people to the polls this November, uh, but the question remains on the best approach to get the job done. In Landover, Randy Ayala, WUSA 9.